Hello Team Virgo, it's Empire333 here with your Love Tarot card reading. I hope you're all well and safe wherever you are on planet Earth. Virgo, this is my sixth attempt to do your video. Um, Spirit is really on this connection. This is so intense. Um, in your last reading, we had Archangel Michael come through, and this time also he came through, and it's like the audio got messed up, all these things, because his energy is so intense, intense. I wasn't expecting him. So um, we'll get into that. We'll go deeper, okay? I asked him to kind of tone it down a bit. And um, so we'll get into that. Also, Virgo, I am doing extended readings for all zodiacs this time, this cycle around, because we're doing a free reading contest where you can enter to win a personal reading with me. And what you have to do is purchase the extended, if only if this um, story rings true to you, um, whatever I'm about to um, channel. And you can find the link down below and you'll be automatically entered. However, you have to turn on your notifications because I will be um, announcing the winner next moon cycle. Um, so make sure you turn on your notifications and you're subscribed. If you're not subscribed, we'd love to have you here and hit that bell, okay? So Virgo, let's get into your messages from Spirit, okay? So I feel like there is some type of falling out, okay, when it has to do with this connection. You know what I'm getting, Virgo? I feel that sometimes with this person, you still feel lonely, okay? You feel like you don't have a partnership where you can feel secure with, okay? But now I do see that there is some type of a fallout between you two, and even though you feel alone, I'm, I'm getting that, like, you're just disappointed about the way things turned out, okay? And I feel like you are you pulled your energy back somehow, okay? When I say pulled your energy back, it could be you're not communicating with this person. You're not giving, okay? That's what I'm getting. You're not giving like you used to. And you're no longer willing to invest in this connection, okay? You're holding yourself back from investing anymore, okay? Okay? So maybe you're not, you know, caring as much as you used to. You're not putting attention into this connection. You're not, you know, helping the person. Um, <clears throat> I feel like you've per pulled your energy back here because you're thinking that this is an investment that I've made. And I've some of you feel like you've wasted your time with this person. You know, I keep investing everything, all every part of me, and I still haven't received things that I am um, I'm deserving of okay because some of you you're really getting into the space where you're like I deserve better you know and um, here I feel like when it comes to your energy it's like you're thinking this person it's they just you know they keep taking you for granted okay and I feel like this is a cycle that keeps repeating between you and them it's like um, okay, this is what I'm getting. Virgo, you keep forgetting this, forgiving this person. You keep forgiving this person, okay? And they've taken advantage of you so many times and you keep forgiving them, okay? Um, not to say that you shouldn't forgive them, but I feel like for some of you, it's like it's becoming a cycle. So, it's, so I just heard they, they're, they get off really easy, okay? So, but you, you have some plans in your mind that you're focusing on at this time. It could have to do with career or work, and I feel like Spirit is really guiding you to that, and they're trying to make you see the light in whatever plan that is. It's a project plan, possibly a new beginning for some of you. You're making some changes. When it comes to your person... This person, it's like they want to be back together with you, okay? They want to um, rekindle what has been lost between you two, okay? I just saw Virgo do an eye roll. <laughs> Virgo, I see your eye roll, okay? Whoever did that. Um, 
So this is someone who knows that you both have this soulmate tied together. They know that you both are soulmates. And I feel like they are feeling it really heavy that you both are apart. I do, like I said, there's some sort of falling apart or break up here, depending on your connection. Um, keep in mind, these readings are timeless. So you could be in a different cycle for each one of you, like on a different timeline. But here we have, you know, someone, there's mutual feelings here, okay? This is not, um, what do you call, it? unreciprocated love. This definitely, both of you have feelings, strong feelings for one another. This is like a soulmate twin flame kind of uh, connection here. And I because um, Michael, Archangel Michael keeps coming through, definitely this is a um, soulmate connection, okay? Okay. Um, there's, yeah, there's a lot of karma involved in this connection is what I'm picking up on. And we'll get into that, but this person now, um, Virgo, it's like they were so defensive in the past. They were so guarded and they're realizing that now they want to put their guards down. But it's so hard for this person to um, put their defenses down because I feel like this person has a lot of baggage, okay? So it could feel like the past between you two keeps repeating because of that, okay? So this person here that you're dealing with, it's like they're really taking it hard this time. And I feel like it's because some of you, do you know about the cycle you keep repeating with this person and you finally like definitely just like really pulled back your energy some of you it's very intense for this person okay whoever you're dealing with but the past keeps repeating over and over again so there's a cycle that you both are stuck in um and you know that virgo you know that this person keeps coming back is what i'm hearing and it has a lot to do with them and the way you make them feel. You, you make this person feel so um, comforted is what I just heard, okay? So let's get into your person's energy with this first deck, okay? Okay, so... This person. Okay. Look at that. You're definitely on their mind. Look at this represents you. This is how they're seeing you as. Okay. This person, like I said, they feel so comforted with you and they can't get you off their mind. Let's go. Whoa, okay. Let's see. I, I don't know why I keep getting patience. Patience. Okay, Virgo's person. One more for Virgo's person. Whoa, okay. Okay, no. One more. Yeah. This is interesting. <clears throat> so, Virgo, this person, like I said, they feel really happy with you. They feel stable with you and so forth. But the thing here is that this person feels like you've changed and now they don't know how to come towards you because I feel that this is an on and off connection, okay? There's a lot of going back, going forward, you know what I mean? Um, hold on, Virgo. Sorry. Okay. So this is about someone now who doesn't know how to come towards you. They don't know what reaction you're going to give. And I feel that they, it's on their mind and they know that they can be stable with you. So I feel like for some of you, this person could have, you know, um, 
experience very different people, but they know that you're different than anybody else that they've ever experienced. Like I said, um, they see you as someone that they can have a partnership or commitment with, but right now they don't know how to come towards you. They don't know how to travel towards you. And it has a lot to do with you pulling your energy back, Virgo. And this person, I do see that, okay, they, I just got, they want your forgiveness again. And for some of you, like I said, you got the eye roll, okay? They want to, um, they, okay. They don't know, they don't want to. Okay, so this person has a lot of deep feelings for you, Virgo. Um, but the issue here is that they don't express their feelings. They do not verbalize, okay? So sometimes they say things and you feel like they're speaking in code and you're like, what is this person trying to say to me right now, okay? And some of you, when that goes on, I feel like you both get into an argument. Think of the conversations you've had with this person, especially when it has to do through messaging. I'm getting like text message or whatever because this person is not a great communicator, okay? So what happens is like they fall short of what they're trying to say. And I feel like for some of you, you take it the wrong way and then it ends up in an argument or something like that. But this person definitely has deep feelings for you. And I feel like they're really hiding those feelings. But this person here... um, I feel that whether you forgive them or not, I do see that they they want to communicate with you, okay? They want to like reach a decision or something like that is what I'm getting when it comes to this connection. And I feel that when this person, there's times this, this person goes through phases when they're communicating with you. Let me just make sure this is on. It's like they, they, Virgo, they, um, how should I say this? It's like they plan on what to say to you, okay? But it still comes out the wrong way because they're emotionally, the way they communicate their emotions is very immature, okay? And I feel like for some of you, even though you might not get apologies. They do want to apologize to you. It's not that they don't, but this person has a very stubborn energy, okay, to them. So let's see how you feel about this connection now because I feel like a lot of you have pulled your energy back. Look at this double. Five of coins here, okay? So... Wow. Okay. What's this? All right. Okay. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay. So here's the thing. This person, you feel left out in the cold. For some, regardless, even if you're the one who pulled your energy back, this person here, I feel that what's happening now is that this person is getting a taste of their own medicine, okay? So this person could have in the past pulled back their energy, not giving you attention, not, you know, whatever. And now you're doing that to them, okay? I don't feel like it's a revenge thing. I feel like you're placing boundaries, Virgo. And <clears throat> for some of you, there's some type of an opportunity coming through, something solid. And I feel like because you are... Um, so for some of you, this could have to do with career. I know this is not love-related, but for others of you, it's like you're thinking this has this has potential, okay? And you've been holding on to the potential of this connection, like going to the next level, okay? But this connection is so hard for you, okay? It takes all of your energy and some of you are depleted of your energy. You're like, I'm tired. I can't do this anymore, okay? 
But what I feel here is that spirit is c pushing you to another direction, okay? I don't know what it is. We can get into that with the extended. But I feel like you're being directed somewhere else, okay? And it's like spirit is trying to give you all the strength to do so because they know you're tired. Um, also, what's happening here is that because you've realized this person could have selfish tendencies, um, <clears throat> like they they're selfish with their energy. It's like you're you you've kind of come to a realization where you don't want to put your energy into this anymore, and some of you are hurt by this person again, and you're just you're just tired, Virgo. And some of you are thinking of fully releasing this, even though this has happened before between you and this person, whatever falling out it is. But I feel like you're on your last straw here, okay? So let's see what about this person. How do they feel for Virgo? Yeah, they're like, it's not over, Virgo. We've got unfinished business. You might, you might, Virgo, think that this is over, over this time around. I'm not going back. I hear you. Um, but this person does not see it. This, this person sees it as, okay, this is just another falling out we have. It's just the phase we always go through, um, you know. And this person here... I feel like they're making a decision right now, okay? They're making a decision when it comes to this connection. What do they want? <laughs> what does this person want with Virgo right now? Okay, interesting. Why? The hermit. Isn't that funny? What do they want for Virgo? The hermit. That I just thought that was funny. Let's see what this is about. Okay. Okay. So what I'm getting here is that this person knows you well, Virgo. I got to say, this person knows you well, okay? And they think that, okay, Virgo is just taking a break. They're going into their hermit mode, and I just have to be patient. And this person also wants your patience, okay? But they want to be together with you. They want to heal whatever it is that took place in the past over and over again. I keep hearing over and over again, okay? And this person doesn't think that you guys are up. So some of you completely, you're like, I'm done with this person forever is what I'm hearing. And this person thinks, oh, it's just one of the phases we normally go through. It's like we stop talking for a few months, then, you know, we reach out to one another, whatever. They get over it, you know, they forgive me. Um, that's what they're thinking, Virgo. But I feel like for some of you, this time around, it's going to be longer than normal because some of you are completely done with this person, but... Like I said, this person, they know how they are, okay? If they have not realized it yet, they're definitely going into this deep soul searching of like, why? Because this person, Virgo, thinks you're amazing is what I'm just hearing, right? They think you're amazing. So they're trying to figure out why you both are always butting heads, okay? Even though you tell them certain things, I feel like this person denies it because they truly don't want to hurt you is what I just heard, but they, they can't help themselves. So something is up with this person with not knowing themselves and they're trying to discover what it is about them that why does this keep happening? Why do we do this? Okay. And it's like, this is the temperance card, right? So they want healing in this situation. They want to kind of 
clear up the past or something like that is what I'm getting, okay? Yeah. Yeah, this is the cycle, okay? In the traditional deck, I'm seeing more of the, the traditional Rider Waite card deck, but this is about a cycle that keeps repeating between you two. And that's why, you know, I feel that Archangel Michael keeps coming through. That's one of the reasons in this connection because um, Virgo, you want security and stability and I feel like this person doesn't give it to you yet you still keep accepting them back in your life for some reason, okay? So yes, this person does want you back but I feel that they are losing hope this time because they're seeing that how your energy is retracting or diminishing the same energy you had for this person um, in the past, okay? So they really feel it. They really feel it. And Spirit just said they, they're feeling it really hard. And they're trying to figure out how to um, clear this. What is that? I don't know. They're asking me to look at the card. Okay, there is an eclipse coming up in May. Okay, that might be very significant time in this connection. But anyhow, we'll get into this in the extended. For those of you who want to follow me, the link is down below in the video. We'll get into what this person's next actions are, what advice Spirit has for you, Virgo. When it comes to the situation, and also, I, I know that you're being directed somewhere else. And we'll get into that. It, it could be love. It could be um, somebody else. It could be, you know, something that you're being directed to, which is a golden opportunity is what I just heard. Okay? So if you like, you can follow me in the description box. If not, that's fine. If this reading resonated with you, definitely follow me down there and also i hope that for the rest of you that this has helped you in some way let me know in the comments what your love story is and how you resonated with the situation and don't forget to like this video if you did and subscribe if you have not virgo i wish you all the best peace out